The Ticket Pro Dome got fired up recently as meat lovers gathered at the second Fire and Feast Meat Festival with an array of flavorful treats and a mouth-watering lineup for all to enjoy. It doesn't matter what culture you are from, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter where you come from, the show brings us all together. It's quintessentially what we are as South Africans. We love brying, we love eating meat, we love having a drink, and we love spending time with our families. And that's really what the show is about. It's about educating you on how to take those meats that you love and cook amazing dishes. It's showing you how all those meats are so readily available and how easy it is to actually bring all those meals into one home and recreate them in your own space. We've really grown our show so much in this year. We've partnered with amazing people in the industry, real role players in the industry, and I think without the support of Crown National, who are headline sponsor, the show wouldn't have gotten to its second year. And we've just created such great relationships with the likes of SA Chefs Association and the other people in the meat industry. You know, there's so many shows around that focuses on food and wine, etc., but nothing really focuses on meat. We're passionate about meat, and this festival just gives us such a great opportunity to expose consumers to this really dynamic meat industry. So to me, it's not necessarily about the new innovations, but rather finding new ways of using some of our existing key core products. And last night, I braved the Joburg weather and had a nice braai outside with some venison. On one hand, I took a kudu fillet, I rubbed it with a bit of olive oil and our favorite six-gun grill. On the other hand, I took a uh, blovelabius uh, sirloin, rubbed it with a bit of olive oil and our safari biltong spice. And it's a biltong spice on a steak. And that's what makes it so amazing. It's such a versatile product. We can use it not only on biltong, but also on a steak and a stew or a poiki. Put that onto the braai and voila, medium rare. My wife and kids couldn't decide which one was the best tasting one of the two. June being Father's Day month, the Man Cave was just the perfect experience for whiskey lovers and families looking for haircut and tattoo inspiration for Dad. If I would have had a, a dungeon underneath my house and uh, I could put in whatever I want without the, the, the woman or the wife telling me what to do, uh, this is pretty much what I would have in the bottom of my basement. Because it's, it's something different and tattoos and, and food has never really gone together. But uh, being part of the, the, the whole man cave here and the Jack Daniels and all that, uh, I think it's uh, quite a different experience. I've, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, I don't normally attend events like this. Oh, I've been having the best time with the visitors over here. They're just uh, loving what we're doing. They're like, wow, I can't believe there's an old school barber still around. I mean, we just try to keep that encapsulated. So Barnet Fair means cut your hair, by the way, in uh, Cockney rhyming, rhyming slang. The core value of the South African Chefs Association is to uplift and develop chefs and to keep the network of chefs alive. I think South Africans are starting to appreciate our fantastic produce that we have that's available in our country. Uh, we're starting to showcase uh, our culture and our uniqueness that we have and this festival is a, is a proof of it. I mean if you look at all the different theatres in this arena, I mean the chefs are doing stuffed chicken breast on a bra, for example. They're doing deboned pork fillets and, and, and making toasted sandwiches, for example. So it's a lot more than just your steak, boss and pup kind of thing. And I, I think that's fantastic. Lamb and Mutton SA is here for the second year. Um, it's obviously an awesome, awesome platform for consumer education as well. More about lamb, how to cook lamb. And we're using different cuts of lamb. Um, from livers to the mince to the chops, so it's all different types of cuts from the lamb. It's just also about also bringing in, you know, the more feminine side into into our kitchen, and also bringing in something out of the box, not your typical ordinary food demonstration. It's going to be something exciting, and obviously also just to see how well we work together as a trio, you know. What we want to achieve at the festival is to make people aware of the fact that pork in South Africa is so underestimated and underused and it's not properly understood by cooks and consumers and we really want to change that because pork is delicious, it's versatile, it's a high class quality product, it's healthy, it's safe um, and it's affordable and we really just want to have a, a conversation with consumers and answer their questions and make them understand that a little bit better and this gives us the perfect platform to interact with them. And we have many chefs preparing delicious recipes so they can come and taste. 
We think it is very important to show South Africans the top quality beef you can actually buy in your own country. Some of South Africa's top chefs will be cooking some delicious Wagyu beef as well as Sparta Angus beef and they'll also be cooking some of the lesser known cuts. One of my personal favourites at the moment is the Bavette steak. It's from the flank, it's well priced and it's delicious. All beef is not created equal. Ask for your beef by name, know where your beef comes from and try different cuts. Everybody loves chicken, so it is definitely the South African's most favourite protein or dish. There are many foodborne diseases um, that are around in the environment, um, but I think the biggest trick is in terms of the preparation of that. Keep the veggies and that separate, keep the, the meat products or chicken separate. Once a product is cooked, a chicken product is cooked, it's, it's basically safe. I would encourage chefs, moms, whoever's preparing food to make sure that just the chicken is, is, is really cooked um, properly. It's a really great space outside where they get to feel like they're at a festival. They get to buy a brybuck and one brybuck gives them one taste at each station. So they get to sample different lamb dishes, beef dishes, chicken dishes and pork dishes. So it really gives them a variety of flavours. There's going to be 10 sections which will be available to the public to intermingle and, and see how they can fry with on a shadow shed bra. The new revolution into the South African bra industry is our launch of the hybrid bra. That allows you to bra with gas, or wood, or charcoal, or briquettes. You can also smoke with it. There's also going to be the ambassador of Shadow Chef, which is the bra boy. People are going to have the opportunity to bra with and against him as well. So that's going to add a lot of fun to the Fine Feast Festival this year. We just see how we're growing and we want to be able to take the show into different cities in a couple of years. So we're hoping to visit Cape Town in two years possibly and just see really how the show will grow and educate the visitors and grow our industry appeal across the board. Keep an eye out for information on the Fire and Feast Meat Festival 2019, which will be another fiery celebration of the meat industry and associated products.